Hi guys, welcome back to Digital Grandchild. Today we are going to be going over modern music. So I thought it would be helpful to go over five different artists, go over how they got their prominence, what they sound like, so you guys can get more familiar with the voices that you are hearing on the radio today. Let's start off with Taylor Swift. Now, Taylor Swift is a personal favorite of mine. I absolutely love her music. Uh, so she got her start in country music. Her first album was released in 2006, and it was purely country. But as she kind of progressed throughout her career, she began to gain more of a pop sound. So her first purely pop sound sounding album was titled 1989, and it was released in 2014. And one song you might recognize from that album is Shake It Off. It was super popular. I'm sure you guys heard it. Um, and now she's into her more acoustic era. Her two uh, latest albums, Folklore and Evermore, have really more of a mellow, more of a toned down sound. Um, and they're very different from what, than what she's been releasing in the past. All right, next up we have BTS. So I have no other way to describe BTS other than that it is an international sensation. They are so popular around the world. They have a huge fan base with tons of fan clubs, tons of fan accounts, um, you know, and they really have this incredible popularity. They've been able to collab with other artists, um, get their music out there. And, you know, they have really been one of those groups that has been gained popularity and has been able to retain that relevance throughout their career. Right now we have Beyonce. Now Beyonce is the absolute queen of R&B. She's been popular for so long and she, you know, we really see her remaining relevant throughout her career. Um, so she started in Destiny's Child and um, once she kind of broke away from that group and began her solo career, we really see um, the music that she released and the cultural impact that her and her performances have had on the music industry. You know, she has really, um, you know, been impactful on other R&B artists and we just really see her style of music being spread throughout the R&B industry. Now we have Justin Bieber. Now Justin Bieber is an interesting case because he was one of the first artists that was able to kind of gain popularity through his social media accounts. So he was releasing uh, YouTube videos of him singing and he was actually noticed by a record producer as his videos became viral. So um, at, once he kind of gained vi this viral sensation, um, he was noticed by a record record producer and was able to snag a record deal in this way. Um, so it's kind of amazing how he's, uh, you know, he has had this start with no industry connections, but has been able to become the pop star that he is today, you know, constantly topping the charts and constantly collabing with super famous artists um, and, you know, kind of really, really remaining relevant um, since the beginning of his career when he was just 13 years old. So it's really amazing to see uh, kind of his journey and his success story because I think it's super unique um, and super interesting to kind of talk about and analyze. All right, finally, we have Ariana Grande. Now, Ariana Grande is another one of my personal faves. I absolutely love her music. Uh, she's a vocal powerhouse. And she got her start um, on a TV show called Victorious on Nickelodeon. Uh, she played Cat, and since the TV show centers around um, a performing arts school, she was able to kind of showcase her voice a little bit, but only once she started releasing albums that we are able to fully realize um, the extent of her vocal talent. She is absolutely outstanding. Um, she's a great performer and she is a great songwriter. She writes almost all of her songs um, and she's constantly working with other artists. She's constantly producing hits and she's constantly, you know, uh, impacting the pop industry as we see it today. So she's, you know, just incredibly relevant and an incredible artist. All right, that wraps up our uh, episode of Digital Grandchild. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I really hope that you guys learned something and I also really hope that you guys will join us next time for our next episode of Digital Grandchild. Thank you guys so much. See you next time.